how to use Copper CRM step-by-step -step guide. Hey guys, welcome to a Copper CRM tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can use Copper for your project management, CRM, and more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to simply go to copper.com and you will land on this website right here. It is a beginner friendly website that allows you to sign up very easily. You can sign up using your Google account or you can sign up using your email address. Copper has a lot of different uh, product available for us that we can use. So after the initial sign up, you will get to the main dashboard of copper.com and it will look something like this. We are using copper today for CRM and I'll show you how you can create a task, how you can create automations and more. So on this side of the screen, you'll be able to see that we can actually connect our copper to our email. So that's the first step that you will be doing. You can connect your copper to your Google so that you can access your Google Drive, you can access your Google Meets and uh, your Gmail and more. Then we have the feed option. This is the feed where I can see all of my different activities, my followings, all and more. And then down here, we can see people, companies, pipelines, tasks, auto automation, tracked emails, forms, and more. So let's go ahead and add some people to our copper.com. So what we can do here is we can add our team. Uh, so uh, I'm going to click on add a person and it's really easy to add a person. Uh, we're going to add the first name. So I'm going to be adding and we can add the last name, which is perfect. We have the company. Uh, for the company, I'm going to go with TSG. Uh, then we have added title. So this person is for my CRM, for my sales. Let's say this person is the sales manager. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the manager. Then we have potential customer. If it's a customer or if it's just the manager. Now, this person right here is a manager, but let's say I was creating a customer. So what we can do is we can even go with the title here and we can add maybe uh, like a title and I can be like, okay, this is my new customer. And then I can add the type, which is the potential customer. Then we have the work email and work website or work phone and LinkedIn, whatever information you have. So I'm gonna be adding their work emails. We're just gonna quickly go ahead and do that. Uh, and I will be adding it here. Um, so next we have some more additional information that we can add. We can add the visibility too. In the visibility, it means that it will be only visible to me or it will be only visible to the teams, individuals, or record owner uh, only. For me, I'm just going to go with only me for the purpose of the video. And then I'm going to click on save. And now you will see uh, that a new person, a lead, will be created right here. Now uh, with this person, with this customer, I will be able to now maybe connect a lead or add more information. After that, we can just not only create one person, but we can add a company. So within the people, you saw that I created a new company. Now we can have multiple people within the company too. So if you want to create a company, you will just simply go here, you will click on add and we can also import, but I'm going to quickly and uh, add uh, one manually. I'm going to call this company test two uh, so that I will have an idea that this one was created for the video. And then we have the primary contact of this company. The here you can add the manager or the CEO or any person that you're in contact with. And then we have email domains, LinkedIn address and more. So now we're just going to click on save and you will see a brand new company will be created here. And I can add now people into this company. Moving on, we have the pipelines. And this is where we create a pipeline. We create a, uh, you know, whole process from sales to service delivery using customizable drag and drop pipeline. So for that, I'm going to click on create. And now you can see we have all of the different templates available. It depends on your category or your area in this, uh, you know, company and why you are using copper CRM. So for me, what I'm going to be doing is you can see we have the sales, we have project management, we have customer management, we have investment, partnership, recruitment and donation. So what we will be doing is we will be going for the customer management here. And what we will do is we will go to the projects. We have project and customer as well. So I'm going to go with the projects that because it's very easy to understand and the others work the same because uh, it's a simple drag and drop uh, template that we get. So I'm going to use a template for this one. Now we're going to give our project a name. So uh, what we're going to be calling it is I'm going to call it project X and we're going to click on next. 
Now I can select opportunity, project, item, or more. So it's a project. Click on next. Uh, then we have some of the other stages. I'm just going to click on create so that it takes me to my dashboard. And there you go. You can see we have a brand new project created right here. And now I can, uh, you know, add different things into the project. For example, click on add project here and I can add more projects. I can import the projects as well. We can add flags, configure, list view, uh, filters and more. Click on this add new filter and it will allow you to add any kind of filter to your project here. So you can see right here we have add a new project. So I'm going to add the name and just call it test and you can see now we have the pipeline which is the project x then we have the primary contact and we can add additional information such as the status priority so for priority i'm going to go with high priority we have visibilities everyone i'm going to change it to only me we have tags description in descriptions maybe i can add some of the description here and we can add a you know tag for example new or i can even add a tag for a test click on save and you will see that this uh, task will be created within my uh, you know cover now i can do a lot more with the task here we can add activity we can actually you know do the full page so now i can add different things we can add an assignee here we can add a deadline uh, we can check out the analytics and more so this is how you will create a pipeline within cover.com Moving on, we have tasks option. Now, creating a task is really easy. You just go to task, click on add a task, and you will give it a name, what we just actually did. So I'm going to call it task one. And then we have related information. If you want to add any kind of relation or any kind of description, you can do that. We have the due date. So maybe the due date is the same Monday. And we can add the honor. We can add the priority. I'm going to keep it uh, high. We have description, uh, visibility. Click on save and a new task will be created. What I just showed you. Now, after creating a project, after creating a task, automation is very important when it comes to CRM. So we can create email automation. We can create workflow automation or task automation as well. I will be creating a workflow automation here. Click on workflow and then I can add different automations here. So let's click on add workflow. Uh, so we're going to add a name. So I'm just going to call it the uh, new automation for now, the trigger. So the trigger will be whenever we have a pipeline record, when a pipeline is created, what should happen? Well, the action one should be that we should add fields and then we can add an action. So action one should be that a pipeline record will be added or we can add a person. So what we can do is it will be assigned to a person we can add a name here and then we have action to when a pipeline is created maybe i can add one more field and this time uh, instead of the name we can go for status the status will be open so this way we can create a workflow so whenever a new pipeline is created a person will be assigned and that you know task will be open so this is the automation that i wanted to create i will click on save and it will be saved right here this way i can create as many automations as i like to uh, save my time and to automate my work then we have the forms option available within the copper.com uh, with forms you don't have to use any other platform you can simply create forms within your copper that are easy to use easy to install and you can uh, you know manage job candidates separately uh, and you can add different you know call to actions with the forms then we have custom reports that will give me all the analytics and the reports within my copper.com what's happening uh, how my team is being managed how products are being created i can get all the information right here if you want to add your team you can click on invite users and you can add users uh, your managers and uh, your other team members as well copper.com allows you to run your business smoothly and improve your crm i hope this video was a big help to you don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe to the youtube channel